I'm no expert, but let me show you some tricks that I've learned to grow watermelon at home. I'm Asadullah and I grow fruits and vegetables here at home, mostly in containers. I'm going to show you how I'm growing watermelon vertically. This is a baby watermelon and attached to it is a female flower. And this is a male flower. Can you see that there's no watermelon attached to it? So insects and the wind will send the pollen from the male flower to the female flower. And if the pollination is successful, this fruit will continue to grow into a huge watermelon. This is how a watermelon looks if pollination wasn't successful. You get different varieties of watermelon. Some grow different shapes and sizes. Some even grow in different colors. Let's talk about nutrition. When the watermelon is young and small, you want to give it a fertilizer that is high in nitrogen. This will encourage leaf growth. Once you start seeing flowers develop on your watermelon plant, you want to then give it a phosphorus and potassium rich fertilizer. And that will help with the um, plant producing more flowers and also developing healthy fruit. Watermelon grows in summer and summer can be really hot. So you want to water your watermelon at least once a day. But once it starts developing fruit, you want to water it twice a day. If you want to grow a really nice watermelon, you want a lot of leaf growth and not too many watermelon growing on the plant. The leaves are like solar panels sending energy to the watermelon. So the fewer watermelons you have on the plant, the more energy gets distributed to those few watermelons, allowing the watermelon to grow faster. Speaking on the energy distribution of this plant, sometimes the plant will focus its energy on creating new leaf growth, new stem growth. When you do have enough healthy foliage, you now no longer need the plant to produce new offshoots. So what you'd want to do is to snip the tip off. And this will allow the plant to focus its energy not on producing a longer vines and more leaves but focus its energy on growing these baby watermelons into something bigger let me share with you some of the mistakes i've made growing watermelon last year's mistake you might be familiar with from previous videos but uh, the issue is piss so this is a watermelon that was growing but i believe it will now stop growing because some insect has stung it and laid the eggs in it this watermelon is no longer healthy and instead of the plant's energy focusing on trying to grow this watermelon i'll be cutting it off once i know pollination is successful and i will have a watermelon growing i will start covering it with a breathable fabric um, this is a pantyhose that i've cut up and um, you can see even here and growing it vertically i've also helped support its weight by tying it up with the pantyhose and now also this macgyver with a yogurt lid another mistake i've made is underestimating how big a watermelon plant can grow in this plant box over here i have four watermelon plants growing and that's too many for this amount of space that i have i planted two watermelons in the front of the box and two watermelons at the back and 80% of this foliage is from the two watermelons that got the most sun. So because the two watermelons at the back are not getting enough sun, because they are overshadowed uh, by the watermelons in front, they are not going to be performing well. They are not going to be producing well. If you like these kinds of videos and would like to see more, then let me know. I have a whole lot of other vegetables that I would like to show you how I grow them and also the mistakes I've made growing them.